Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of B is for Build. Kyle? Quiet on the set! In today's episode, we are working on Oscar's Mustang. Kyle's working on his BMW right now. In the last episode, we left you with the kind of the 2016 wheels and a pretty tame wide body over fender and the side skirt. And we kind of slept on it a little bit and we think we want to change it up. I grabbed a bunch of parts that I had kind of in storage at my house that are unused Mustang parts from the classic body. And we think we're going to be able to throw something together that looks a little bit more aggressive, a little bit meaner, and kind of fits the overall image that we had for the car a little bit better. So that's what's in store for today. We're just going to work on building some cool stuff and we're going to wing it and see how it goes. Stay tuned. All right, let's get started. We're gonna unload the truck. I brought a bunch of different stuff that we can use and we don't have to use it, but we can use it. We'll go ahead and throw it all right here and kind of see what we got and see what we wanna start piecing together. I keep way too many old body parts at my house. If this was for a project we didn't finish six years ago, think how many more body parts I have laying around. Anyway, so we got two front fenders, a cut up rear quarter panel, a cut up front fender, uh, a BRZ rear diffuser, BRZ front lip, and another bumper. Now this is just, we don't know if we're gonna use any of this, we don't know if we're gonna use all of it, but it's here at our disposal. I think now it's time for us to play how does that panel look up against the car uh, Tetris kind of or something and just start visualizing what we might want to try and pull off with this and what we might want to try and build out of these things. All right, so we did a little working on the sides and we tried test fitting this fender and a rear over fender and we came up with a really pretty cool way to kind of build this out and then have it cover up the wheel. But the problem with that was is that it really didn't look like the car had much of a wide body on it. It just looked like you kind of threw another panel at the panel and although it did make it wider since we're really only talking about like to cover this wheel and get it to tuck, it's what, an inch and a half or something like that? It didn't really look like that noticeable, so it kind of just made it look weird. It looked like you were kind of like covering up something and it just didn't come out with the look that I wanted. So what we did over here actually is we test fit the classic looking wheel, which we like that look of the wheel a lot, with an over fender that we had, these were way back from the Aston Martin that we were, when we were thinking about wide body in the Aston Martin. And this is just a universal uh, over fender flare that's really easy to install. So the tire's gonna go in a little bit more than this, but we're really liking this look a little bit better. So we can go with the retro, with the uh, the plastic over fender and that'll make it look that'll make it look pretty good. We've seen other Mustangs that have these and uh, if we do those on all fours, I think it'll come out really good. Then it'll be a little bit wider to tie into the side skirt better and then we can tie into our rear diffuser and front valance that we're gonna build as well. So I think it's just gonna be a better package overall. Well, no huge surprise, so uh, we changed our mind again. <laughs> um, Oscar got the wheels on here with the right amount of spacers that he liked the look of. And then, do you want to show him the rear? So, we like the look of the rear over here a lot. It feels like it fits in with the car really well and uh, feels like that's a good look. But on the front, go ahead and bring that over to the front now. It's It seems pretty large, like it just seems kind of big and, and kind of bulky and we're almost liking the look of that in the rear but leaving the metal in the front and uh, with this wheel and tire combination. So this tire kind of comes out just a tiny little bit more. The gap is a little bit bigger. I don't know what it is that with really all the changes that were made, but we both kind of agree that the metal looks better in the front, but the plastic over fender looks better in the rear. So. So what we're gonna go ahead and do for now, uh, we have more plastic over fenders. We could easily install them. It'll take like 20 minutes if we change our mind down the road, but uh, removing that metal is a more permanent thing. So we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna clear coat over it so it doesn't get all rusted and, and yeah. So uh, it's time to move on to installing the rear over fenders. We wanna do something creative so the bolts don't look uh, super shiny. Uh, and so we'll think up something either 
Self tappers. Self tappers. They won't rust though very quickly. We could paint them, put a coat of paint on them that'll like chip a little bit and rust on the edges. How about that? Yeah, so we'll throw a coat of paint on a set of self tappers and then um, as we uh, as we hit them with the, uh, impact. the impact, it'll kind of knock the edges off and stuff like that so it won't look super shiny. We got the rear over fenders on and they look so much better. It's a really good look and we're really liking the look of the mix and match. So that there and then the metal one up front. I think once we start tying everything in, it's really gonna all kind of come together and that's the look. We do have more of those if we wanna go ahead and switch it to this up front, but uh, not right now. So moving on, Oscar wants to start working on the front grill section. So Oscar's gonna be working around here, developing a front grill, developing, a, we're gonna need some sort of a latch right here for the hood to latch down into. You see actually behind the scenes got started a little bit with some hood pin standoffs. This is where our hood pins are gonna go uh, for the rear locking hood pin. So Oscar's gonna be working in this front area right here. It's really bright out here, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but Oscar's got the front grill in here. He went ahead and painted a few different things black to give it the look that he wanted. I really like the look of this inset, and it makes it look really mean when you see it from, when you back up and see it from the front. It looks, it looks really good. And he also built the latch. Do you wanna show us? So pretty simple little standoff right here that uh, hits that latch mechanism right there and makes the hood latch. And in the back, now we're actually not gonna use this hood. We're gonna get a new hood for him tomorrow from my used parts collection. Uh, in the back, they're gonna be locking hood pins so you can't get into his hood uh, without a key. So the next thing up is he's gonna build the front valance. So if you guys see on some hot rods, they have this piece that comes down like this. It looks like a miniature snow plow. And uh, Oscar's got a design in mind that he wants to do. So he's gonna start building one out of steel. And it's gonna make the front end of this look a lot more aggressive and lower down and look really cool. I think the Boss 302 Mustangs have these and uh, I don't think any 67s came with them but it's a really cool addition.
Oscar's finished off the structural part of the splitter, so he's got a support bar going down, kind of down there and the sheet metal on top of it. It looks super, super cool on this car. The way it's shaping up and everything looks really good. Uh, so all he's got to do left now is do some, he's going to build some kind of side caps to kind of cap it into the rest of the bumper. And then that is going to be, and then finish welding it all out. And that will be it for his front splitter. This is, this is a really good job. It looks so cool, especially when you get far back. What do you guys think about the rusting on this over the last few days? We've been meaning to put some clear coat on it, but it just keeps looking better and better. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, Oscar's gonna um, build a couple more end caps and then uh, start welding it up. Oscar wrapped up work on the front splitter. It doesn't really show up very bright on camera, but it looks fantastic. He did a great job on the little like end cap pieces and stuff like that. It looks really, really good. We're gonna need to give it a one more paint job because it got some runs in it. Uh, he got a little wild, so we're gonna sand those down and paint it one more time, but it looks really, really good. So next, he's gonna start working on the hood. I brought him a new hood from home. We're gonna throw it on here and I'll show you how it looks. We finally got a green part on the car. I brought, tried bringing my leftover green fenders, they didn't really work out, but the green hood, I sold them on it. And we think it looks really good, kind of helps break up the colors, and it's just yet yeah, one more of those classic Mustang colors we're getting on here. So, Oscar's got some serious work to do on this hood. He wants to cut some vents into here and put some dimple die plates, and then there's also some locking hood pins that go in here. So, I think we'll start with the locking hood pins, and there's a little bit of leveling out right here he wants to do so we're gonna go ahead and cut a hole to install the locking hood pins and then uh well yeah and then we'll install them Oscar got the hood pins installed. These are some locking kind of flush mount hood pins. They look really, really nice and uh, they're very expensive, but it's worth it to protect Oscar's hood. That hood ain't going nowhere now. So the next thing he's gonna do is cut some vents. Oscar, do you wanna describe what you're gonna do here? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make some, go with a dimple die idea and uh, just put some big dimple dies basically in the middle of the hood. So we're gonna cut like strip out of there strip out of that side, build some aluminum plates with dimple dies in them, and then rivet the plates into the hood sheet metal. Yep. It's gonna look awesome. I'm excited for this.
Also got the holes cut in the hood and then he's got his design for the plates that he wants to place in there. They look like this. And then this is the dimple die that he's going to be used. This is a Eastwood uh, dimple die that they actually provided us a while back. Well, it's two and a half or three inch. I think that's a two and a half. Two and a half inch uh, hole is what it's going to create. So Oscar's going to go ahead and dimple die these plates up and then they get riveted onto the hood and they'll be all good to go. Oscar got the vents and the hood done and damn these look really really good that's really cool piece of craftsmanship on this car and when you get back it looks super super cool man I realize I'm walking backwards and zooming in at the same time but it looks great guys that's that's cool great job Oscar Oscar did a great job I don't know why we still don't have a shirt that says that we have the Oscar MVP shirt but yeah, we need to get an Oscar experience. did a great great job shirt it's coming next up Oscar's gonna mount the front bumper to the car official Bumper is uh, on. We had a bolt issue where we kind of accidentally bought the wrong size bolts, but it, you know, it's uh, mocked up. It's on. There's a bolt going through there. There's just no nut on the other side. Who cares? Anyways, now we're over here looking at the side, and there's just something about this side skirt that's standing out a little bit. That is, we can't. It's hard to put our finger on it, but it almost looks. It looks very okay. First of all, let me jump backwards. We'd love to do side exit exhaust. But if you come down here and look and think that like right here is the frame of the car, into here, that's where your feet go. I mean, that's the body of the car. And then if you look, well, you can't see it, but take my word for it, right here, structural metal going that way. There's nowhere to get the exhaust out to the side. And you can't go under the car because it would literally be hitting the ground. That is a two and a half inch gap between the ground and the car. So we wanted to do side exit exhaust. That would have been the number one idea. Both side this thing like we did the last one and then do a side exit exhaust. But it's basically impossible without ruining all of the structural integrity of this car and just jamming a hole right through the frame of the car, which is just a terrible idea. So anyways, yeah, that's not possible. And we've been looking at, we kind of like it with the side skirt off, but we also like it with the side skirt on. So what we're gonna try doing is detaching. We're, we're talking about painting the silver piece black and seeing how that looks. We're also gonna, right now, we're gonna try detaching the silver piece and only working with the black under piece and kind of see how that looks if we just use that on the car. So we're gonna try and you know take a little bit off. You can see we looked through a bunch of different kind of side skirt options and side options and we kind of thought that we'd like throw it back to a look that we've we've seen before but we're going to do it in a totally unique uh custom b is for build way so if there are any lawyers watching this is 100 percent a b is for build idea that's never been done before ever this is a pure steel side skirt that's going to have a, uh, a a radius edge coming out to something that looks like it could hide an exhaust manifold or exhaust pipe that would run through here and then you know there could be an opening in the back and this is again a completely unique idea that's never been done really before on mustangs uh whatsoever really myself and my lawyer have never seen this ever done so we're really excited to try it for the first time and we think it's going to look great so what we need to do actually for real though getting into the technicals is this is going to get mounted into here um, and then we need to take this sheet metal, trim it so it hits about here, and then we need to put a concave into it. So the fun part we're gonna actually do is we're gonna tack this to this tube right here, and then we're gonna use our hands to bend it over, and that'll put a radius in it, flip it inside out. That'll start here, radius out to here, catch right here where we're gonna tack weld it, and we'll tie everything in together. 
and we'll bust one of these things out and I think it's gonna look really good. Oh, also we don't have enough tubing to go over here. So this is a custom BS for build only, never seen before, never done on a classic Mustang ever before side skirt that is uh, made out of two pieces of pipe. Whew, let's get started. Well, we worked really hard creating a nice straight pipe long enough and a kind of nicely bent piece of metal, but honestly, it did, it did not look good. So, you know what, our original side skirt idea, just sometimes they don't come to fruition. So we're working back with the uh, uh, 67 Mustang side skirt and we're thinking a couple things. We're thinking trim the bottom off, trim the top shorter, box it in sideways so it kind of angles out a little bit. It might look a little bit like a classic side skirt. Again, another one that we've never seen before ever on a Mustang, but it'll look like with a little bit more of a modern touch. So that's uh, that's what we're gonna go ahead and start getting things set up for. So we're gonna trim the bottom of it off and then trim the top a little bit shorter. Our motto was you visualize, you win. So we visualized it all with blue tape. What happened is, and what we're seeing is that the side skirt being stood off as far as it is right now, it's just too thick. It makes it look too chunky and it doesn't really fit in with the theme of the vehicle kind of at all. So we're gonna pull this blue tape off and see kind of maybe what it would look like if we brought the side skirt in. We like this one and we like the shape of it certainly. And now that we trim that top part, we think that it, it all kind of fits the car a little bit better but we're gonna try and bring it in a little bit more. See if we can get any more, uh, see, see if we can get it to look a little bit more correct. Night is upon us. And uh, we've gone through a lot of side skirt options. We found one that we think that we're gonna like. We're gonna stick with this one. We're pretty sure, we're pretty sure. What we're gonna do is basically a straight off of the bottom, not quite the bottom, but a straight coming out about four inches. We're gonna rotate this because this thing looks a little strange when it tucks back into here. So what we saw on um, Ken Block's car and another Mustang is that the, the, the over fender kind of stops around here where before it starts to dive in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this down so it connects down to the side skirt over here. Then the side skirt is gonna run completely flat across here and then just tie in right there. We're gonna build this all out of scratch. Three quarter inch steel tube, like what uh, Oscar built the front splitter out of, is gonna run coming out here, over here, down there, and then we're gonna skin it with these pieces of metal right here that I used for my window louvers on my BRZ. Scrap cars, here we go. There we have it, the finalized side skirt and uh, over fender fitment. It is like midnight right now. So uh, that's that's where we're leaving it. We're very happy with how this turned out. There's a little bit more finish work to be done. There's obviously paint, as you saw on the thumbnail. Uh, it's painted a different color. I'm, I'm talking right now, because I know that he's gonna paint it in the morning and then he's gonna take a picture and he's gonna send it to me and then I'm gonna upload this episode. But anyways, black. But really it looks a lot better like this. I'm really happy that we've kind of figured out an alternative. I still, I, I think that the, the steel front over fender is a really good call, but I think that the black uh, kind of halfway, going like halfway over rear arch is a really good call. And then this side skirt just like finishes it off. Obviously the work that he did in the front is amazing, so. There you go. We fixed it. We fixed it. Like we fixed the wide body problems from the last episode. It looks so much better now. The car is kind of like coming into its own. It's really coming into it like the way that we wanted it to look and it looks fantastic. Oscar did a great job. Woo. 
That's a wrap guys. In the next episode, the uh, single seater supercar has an insane amount of progress. It looks totally different. I hope you guys join us for that. Thank you so much for watching. Head over to bsforbuild.com if you want to pick up some merch. We appreciate the hell out of all you guys and we'll see you on the next one. Peace! Come on.